Hi, I'm Martin from Printer Potty. I'm going to go over a number of common questions that we get so you can understand what waste ink is, what your options are, and some of the other aspects, tips and tricks that we have built up over the last 16, 17 years. So what is waste ink? Waste ink is ink that is generated by your printer whenever it does a maintenance routine, be it a print head nozzle cleaning, when you change cartridges, when you do an ink charge in a system like an eco tank or a mega tank, um, or when your printer has been sat idle for long periods of time and your printer has a maintenance routine that helps just pull any dried ink out through the nozzles in an attempt to try and keep everything clear and printing clearly. How can you tell if your error or your problem with your printer is waste ink related? First thing to do would be to download the WIC reset tool for your computer's operating system and use it to read the waste ink counters. This is a free function, you don't have to pay anything for it, but it will tell you pretty much immediately whether or not your problem is waste ink or not. The error to look for or the result to look for when you read those waste counters is an overflow error or a value of 100% or more. What is a waste ink counter? Waste ink counter is the value your printer holds in memory that keeps an eye on or keeps track of how much waste ink generating activity has been taking place in your printer. So each time you change cartridges, each time you run a print head cleaning routine, each time your printer does any normal maintenance that wastes ink, your printer will increment that waste ink counter, small or large amounts, depending on that activity, okay? Also critical to note that your waste ink counter will have a limit at which point the printer will stop functioning and you will then get an error related to that. What can you do when you get a waste ink related error? Okay, fairly simple really. First and foremost, to clear the error, you can reset the waste ink counter. You also need to deal with the physical waste ink itself. So if you're resetting the waste ink counter, you then need to think about whether you need to replace the pads, whether or not you should be fitting an external waste tank like the printer potty. So what are waste ink pads? Waste ink pads are material like this that will absorb all of that waste ink that your printer is generating through all of those maintenance tasks and it's locking them in. It is not like a sponge where you can squeeze them out. The design of these and the purpose of these is to hold that ink and stop it from leaking if you move that printer around. What's the difference between a printer potty and a printer pad set? Well, a printer potty is a long-term solution that's designed to accept your waste ink into an external container that you never have to refit. So once you've installed it, all of that waste ink is gonna end up in that external container and you can easily empty that out as and when. The only ongoing cost that you ever have is resetting the waste counter each time your printer hits that waste limit error. Printer pads are designed so that you can make use of your existing porous pad assembly and simply replace the pads so that you give your printer another life. Each time you hit that waste ink counter, you will need another set of pads and another reset key to be able to continue. So the big difference is printer potty will allow you to keep going while you only ever purchase keys to reset your waste ink counter so you get multiple lives whereas a printer pad gives you one extra life before you need to do the whole thing again. And obviously the key thing with printer pads is you have to take your printer apart enough to be able to fit them each time. With a printer potty, once you've fitted it, you're not going back into that printer to replace anything or change anything because it's already done. Is it worth getting your printer fixed if you have a waste ink related problem? We're always going to answer yes. Fixing the waste pads in your printer, be it replacing them or fitting a printer potty as an external waste tank, is always going to be much cheaper than buying a new printer. You may find you can't actually use whatever it was that was keeping your printing cheaper with your new printer. Why would you choose printer potty? Our 17 years of experience of dealing with waste ink puts us in a really good position to be able to advise you on what solutions are available to you. Printer pads, printer potty, 
they're all different options to solve exactly the same problem. If we can find alternative solutions such as maintenance boxes and all the rest of it, we are actively pursuing them. So we aren't just sitting here and throwing stuff out because it sells, we're doing it because there's a need. And we will continue to provide you with quality instructions, documentation and support with these products rather than just a product that comes nice and cheap from wherever the hell it is and then somebody says, you're on your own. Okay, that is why Printer Potty is an excellent choice. And yes, I'm biased, but check out our feedback through either Octo Inkjet or any of our other distributors. You will see that when we actually mean that we're gonna look after you and help you get past this problem, we really do mean it. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out all of our other videos on how to fit our kits, how to solve wasting problems, how to be able to reset your waste counter and all the rest of it. We hope it's useful. We hope this has been useful. Please like, please share, subscribe if you're interested in any of the other content and we look forward to helping you in the future. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.